what does that go leg anyways mean for? All right. Hi, how you doing? Good afternoon, everyone. Robert and Christy here. We're sitting in this beautiful home on 13730 Hunters Run in Eastvale. We're so glad you could join us. Yeah, thank um, you. I know our heads are big in I this know. room. I know. Like I said, I was like, I feel like I'm like this. Should back up yeah, maybe we should back up because I want to <laughs> overwhelm you with our faces. I don't know if that's what you came to see. So anyways, we are here to do our virtual open house on this beautiful home here in Eastvale, as Robert mentioned. Um, we want to take a couple of minutes just to explain uh, what we'd like you to do. Please get online here and, and uh, comment, make comments, because our staff and our um, agents are on the back end and they are um, answering some of those questions and I'll periodically look to see if we can answer those, but please ask away so we can address all of your questions. And then in the end, uh, we can definitely uh, give you some guidelines on how to set an appointment to go and see this house, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll walk them through that steps on going to our website, Perfect. which is the easiest way. Perfect. So um, the house is amazing, actually. It, um, it, it, we've got so many views on this home. It's just amazing. It's a 44, 50 square foot home, very large home, uh, very well appointed. It, it's the, the upgrades and what this, this family did to this house is amazing. They did a spectacular job, total turnkey, beautiful home. It has a four car garage. Yay! What I'd love to have a four car garage. Right, you'd love to have just <laughs> yeah. a three car garage, yeah. but you has a four car garage, plus it has a casita, plus it has a full downstairs bedroom suite. Right. So you put all that together, it's it's just, it's an amazing. It has a huge bonus room upstairs and all the rooms are large in this house. So you don't have the small little cookie cutter home, um, bedrooms as you would in some other homes. This has very well appointed large rooms. Right. And you'll see that as we go through the, uh, through the photos and the tour here. So, Thank you for joining us. Um, we, we want to, uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to, to uh, you know, text something on there or put something on Facebook. Um, the house is located in Eastvale. And uh, right here we have a Google map of the Eastvale area. So you have the 15 freeway. So it's located really close to the 15 freeway, very close to the schools in the area as well. You have the um, LR, uh, LR Roosevelt um, High School as well as the Intermediate School here. And then the, the elementary school is over here. I think it's uh, um, Claire, Claire Barton. Barton. Yeah, and I, right here. So Claire Barton Elementary. So it's, you can see how close it is to these different schools areas. So very close to schools. Um, I, one of the things I really like about this house was it's close proximity to the sports complex over here, um, the, the river, um, the, the Santa Ana River. There's also right in here, there's some trails that you can walk along, which is nice for just going for a nice walk and get some exercise or a bike ride on those trails, which is really, really nice. Um, Eastville is the way Eastville is set up. It is a suburban community um, and it has lots of shopping. So you have lots of access to different shopping centers and different areas in the, um, or different stores in the area. So as far as location, it's, it's really, it's a perfect location and it's, I zoom out, you can just see how close it is to the 71, the 15, the 10, and then the 91. It's all kind of right here in the middle. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of people love to live in Eastville is because of its central location there um, in, inside Riverside County here. Um, the house itself, what we'll do to walk through the house? Yeah, let's go ahead and walk through. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, open up the, just the screen here. So and we're going to do we'll, photos today? Yeah, we're going to do the photos okay. today. We could do a video later on, but I just kind of want to walk through the house with the photos itself. Um, so it's a, you see you have three cars here and then the, on this left-hand side is the fourth car tandem. Now that is actually, and we'll show some photos of inside garage. It, it's that well done that we can actually show photos of a garage. <laughs> Not <laughs> so, often do we get to take pictures of a garage. Right, right. Sure. but this is very spacious inside. Um, and on the back side of that, on the tandem side, that was actually a bedroom option for the builder. So it'd be easy to go ahead and convert that back into a bedroom. Oh, we got so many bedrooms in this house. I'm not sure you need another True. Bedroom. If you need another downstairs bedroom, <laughs> it, it'd be a good option, yeah. but they're using it as their workout area gym, which is actually a perfect location. Right. This area right here is a little casita. So you can um, go through there. Um, go here. This is walking into the house. So once you get into the home, this is what is considered the formal um, living room area. So and the door is off to the right. 
Uh, Robert, can you just point to the door? Here yeah, it's right, the door right over here. And this next photo should be able to show that. Um, so here is that area I just said over to the left there, and there's the door, and this is your formal dining room. It has beautiful tile floors and has all these nice little inlays and a nice sweeping staircase where we're kind of sitting. We're kind of in, in that area right now, right? Yeah. Cool. This is the family room area. So you have uh, this right on the other side of the dining room. So you have your family area with the fireplace. It's adjoining to the kitchen. Um, so right there, you can oh, kind of see the back man. end of it. Kitchen's huge. Look how big that refrigerator. It's built in. <laughs> you have your, your, your dishwasher on the island. You also have like a vegetable sink um, right there. So you got a sink there as well as a sink over here on the left, which faces the backyard, which is always really nice. Right. You have some double ovens as well as a microwave over here. I think there's a warming tray over there right underneath that microwave as well. Yeah. It's really, yeah. it's awesome. This is, a, this is a dream kitchen, by the way. It's, you, yeah. you can't ask for anything more in a kitchen. It's just, it's well done, it well spaced, and um, just beautiful, beautiful kitchen. It even has a trash compactor. Awesome. Yeah. So this is this, um, actually a little, nook area it's bigger than a nook actually um it's I actually it's own little room, right? a breakfast room is a good one um we really like this room as well because it has lots of space in there it also has a sliding door that goes out to the backyard um how did that happen yeah because you, you're on the mls so probably not in the specific right I get right in order. so i kind of want to go back um back to the kitchen area well, that's a good order. there you are there yeah so this is, this is that picture of uh, the actual family room looking into the kitchen and you can see the staircase right there. So again, look at the space from the family room where we're at in this photo all the way across the kitchen and back there where those shutters are is that breakfast room we were talking about. So you have so much space in this specific area for entertaining and, and anything that uh, your family is looking to do. There's that warming tray you're talking about. Um, nice little bar seating at the countertop right here. So you have additional seating there in the eating area. Recess lighting, lots right. of windows coming in. Like the little pendant lights that are hanging down. Right. Um, again, you have your vegetable sink here and another sink there. So. Yeah, just nice, right? Yeah, range top hood. Oh uh, man, that's almost huge. like a bedroom. So this <laughs> yeah, this actually the photo really doesn't do it justice. Um, it, it's actually bigger than it appears in this photo, but it is a very spacious walk-in pantry. Um, Desiree commented how nice that kitchen space is. Thanks, Desiree. Yes, it is. Um, just a lot of room. Yeah. And here's that other that other breakfast. You like to call it a breakfast room. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. That's it's what we'll a, call it. Yeah. And off to the right here is the pantry down that hallway is the pantry and the laundry room. Yeah. And there it is. There's a the laundry room, big spacious laundry room with lots of cabinet space. I love the fact that it has a sink there, which is right off the garage, which is really handy for wanting to come in and wash your hands when you get out of the garage. And the cabinet space in there. You don't normally see that much cabinet space yeah, in get, laundry room. Yeah, it's it's cabinet really space nice. and the cabinets. It's amazing. Uh, this is upstairs. Before we go upstairs, yeah, I wanted to go job. back down to the casita area. So this is actually the casita. So you can see the nice, beautiful wrought iron um, gate that goes in, into the actual living areas of the home. And this is a nice, beautiful courtyard with the casita there. And here's a picture of that casita. Now, this casita is really cool because it has it's connected up to the house via um, an intercom system. It also has networking wiring there as well as it well as it has its own ace a split ac system in there so it's very comfortable room to use as just whatever you want to use it for some people i've seen to use it as a gym as an office kids playroom uh, uh whatever said, she said one she of said, those. yeah there you go <laughs> a little hobby room anything so. right getaway room meditation room so so this is a, another view of the the front door there with the living area as well as the dining area. Raquel yeah. says that's a, that can see this would be a great room to have during this quarantine as an extra getaway space from the rest <laughs> of the family. Like, who, who said that? Well, that was Raquel. Oh, of course, it's Raquel. Right? That was <laughs> awesome. You're right. We need a getaway space sometimes. So <laughs> you're funny, Raquel. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So this is another picture of the dining room, and again, of the this is actually the photo where we're sitting at right now. Well, one of the reasons we like this is. Down this hallway right here to the left, you to the right is like a powder room. So it's like a half bath. 
And then to the left is it's the main floor bedroom. And the main floor bedroom has its own private full bathroom right there. Um, look, notice the tile inlays though. And look at this beautiful medallion area right down here in the bottom of that. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, very well I love done. the staircase though. This is a That's bride's sweet. staircase. Well, okay. or a, you know, coming down, swooping, going off to prom okay. staircase. Okay. Um, well, I'll talk about the garage. Yeah, maybe I, should, okay. Maybe. So this is the, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. So this is the downstairs bedroom that we we're just talking about. So it was down the hallway to the left. And this is a really nice size room right here. Um, nice bedroom. And then it has the um, bathroom right here, which is a full bathroom, the closet space. It's a yeah. shower and a, and a sink there. This is the powder room that was on the other side. So it has your sink and your toilet area right there. So that was on the other side. So that's like community thing. This is another photo of the um, family room. Kind of went through those already. Flip through those. And then let's go upstairs. So as you come upstairs, you come up this huge oh, man. wide open. It feels like you're in a whole different house. Um, it's again, until you get all there live, until you're actually there in the house, the photos really don't do it justice because when you're actually there, it, it, to me, it seems spacious. I know a lot of people say, oh, the photos make it look bigger than what it really is. Not in this case. In this case, I think when you stand, when you walk, so you walk up the stairs, you'll you see the how big of it. Yeah. What do you think our kids would have thought about that if oh, they had that opportunity? Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. And look at all the recessed lighting it has. So lots of recess, recessed lighting. And that was, um, if I go back to this photo right here, this room, this this uh, rolls down actually into screen. Uh, a screen for their movie nights. Right, and that, I think the controls is up there on the ceiling. You can't see it in that photo, but yeah. um, again, this is just such a great size family bonus room area. Um, nice getaway. So this is one of the bedrooms this that are actually, off. And this is the master bedroom master right bedroom. here. There we go. So yeah. we're, we're in the master bedroom, which is away on the opposite side of that bonus room. And this is unique as well. So they have their own retreat. So as you're entering into that door, you're actually in the retreat portion of the room. There you can see that a little bit better. And the master bedroom's off. So privacy wise, away from the uh, main hallway outside, that, the master bedroom is definitely set apart from that very good spacing in there with the double doors and that wide open doorway to go into the bath uh, bedroom there big spacious master bedroom right love it and then look at that so it's the opposite view of the master bedroom back into the um retreat, retreat area so you got ceiling fans extra lighting lighting in both rooms on all the walls by the way so you got a lot of space in there for uh, anything you need actually yeah one thing i didn't mentioned when you're in this room right here the window that's behind where the photographer is taking this photo is a view of that goes north and you do have oh, when yeah. the mountains are um snow capped you can see those as beautiful right. beautiful views from that from that room right there i love the fact that there's a retreat i wish we yeah had like a, a master yeah. retreat yeah so oh. this is the bed, big huge <laughs> master bathroom so you have separate vanity areas right here, one on the right, one on, uh, on the left or at the end there. Separate tub and shower, um, nice hardware on the on the cabinets. And um, I think it even has a vanity. Yeah, here it is, right yeah. here is a little vanity area. With the mirror there as well, right, I yeah. think. Yeah. There you go, Raquel, I know that you always like those. So. And then the closet, you can't really see if you can go back there. You can't see on um, the right back here. of the corner then, here, yeah. Because that's a mirror, mirrored closet, a, a door. Like right. this one is right here. Right. So, so you, you got two, two separate closets. Okay. So yeah, um, for like a his and hers type thing. Yeah, I like the whole fact that there's a his and hers in that entire bathroom set up. So not that I don't mind sharing the countertop, of course. Saying? Well, I like the spacing though, <laughs> that you've got, you know, one side is is uh, one for one and the other is another. And you, it's just true. It's, it's just separate spacing because you know how much we bump into each other and yeah. trying to cross over and do stuff. So to me, this is awesome. And that tub and that soaking tub is, is incredibly inviting because you know how much I like those tubs. You do, so. you do. Now bedroom okay. number one, if you will, right? Yes. So um, this is one of the bedrooms um, and- uh, Each of the bedrooms, by the way, up here. So each of the four remaining bedrooms. So we had the master bedroom in itself, right? With the extra space, the retreat. But the other four bedrooms, each 
two of them share their own bathroom, mm -hmm. which is quite unique. You don't really get that that often. So you'll see here in a minute that this bedroom shares a bathroom with another bedroom. And then on the opposite side of the home in the opposite corner is another setup just similar to that. Yeah. So I think that's it's private. Often. Yeah, because you have, when you look in this, this room here, so the stairs go up there and this, is, this was off to the left. You have your closet. You have your own private area right here from the other bedroom like you had just mentioned. So, so that, uh, that in itself, I think you'll see in another photo is that this particular bedroom, this particular setup, this particular bedroom has its own vanity and sink, right? It's mirror sink. And then you walk into the uh, section together where you actually have a tub and shower and toilet, okay? And then the other bedroom has its own vanity sink in yeah. its section. Uh, so we'll see that here in just a second. Um, well, okay, I thought there was an issue there right now. I, we Did had we an inter yeah, we had a pause on the internet connection. Oh, okay. I apologize. Everybody. That's okay, we're live. We're Everything going. can happen weird. Um, there we go. There's kind of a little bit okay. better setup. So see how the um, each individual bedroom on this end of the house has their own sink vanity area. Then they share the common toilet shower area, which you see there in that photo. Um, and then on the other side of the toilet is the other room's own vanity, right. which is really cool. So this is the other room on the other side of that. That's a big room. That's huge. That's huge. And then again, so this is looking back in the last bedroom where we're at, and we walk through the, the uh, vanity area, and then you can see this one has its private vanity area there. Yeah. And then look at the large uh, closet space there. And, um, but just the space in this room is is nice in itself. So that's a better picture. Yeah. There you go. All right. So okay. Front so front of the house, right? Yeah. So this would be the front of the house um, near the um, that big huge bonus room. So this is one of the rooms there. Big large closet on this one, and then off to the left is the um, the shared Jack and Jill bathroom right here. Okay. Now they share that vanity and then they have, there's a doorway that obviously that's separate to go into the toilet and to the um, shower area. And this is the other bedroom on the other side and you can see that um, the uh, bathroom through there. Another large room. Right. All right. So this is the outside back patio area. Um, very, <laughs> they did a lot here. I mean, look at all that stamped concrete. They have the, the light posts right in there. You have a little gazebo area. You have your barbecue island. Um, and the, the um, what they did was they put that uh, clear coat mm -hmm. on stamped concrete down. It's just beautiful, nice. just very well done. Open, so open, enjoyable. There's a little There's barbecue, barbecue spot. Area. Nice little planter here for your gardening. If you want to plant vegetables or flowers, they they got flowers in there right now. Right, and that's the opposite. It's kind of in the gazebo. Now we're looking back at the house, of course. This was the little, right here is a little uh, breakfast room that Christy was talking about. Um, your kitchen window's right there, and then your slider door into right. the family and kitchen areas right there. Right, and then sideways, yeah. So um, as you can see, this home offers a lot of space throughout, inside and out. Um, someone asked earlier if there's an HOA, and the answer there's is no. no. No, there's no HOA. Right, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't like to have an HOA. They like to kind of do it their own way. And this neighborhood is well kept and very well maintained. Um, when you when you go to the house um, in that neighborhood, you're going to see how well maintained all the people's homes yeah. are. Very well, very, very nice neighborhood. They all kind of carry uh, a, re a same respect. Hey. Oh, there's your garage. You all right. the best for last for you, right? <laughs> so, so here we are. We're in the garage now. Um, <laughs> so you, this is the two-part section, basically here to the left and over to the right on the other side of this. These steel cabinets are the one car piece. Right. And then in the back here, which is the tandem piece of this garage, this is the garage. Um, this is the entry into the laundry room there. So this is a, was a builder option actually for a bedroom. So if you want to convert that e over into a bedroom, it's easy to do now with the new additional dwelling unit uh, laws that have passed like about a year or so, the last past couple of years. So it's a lot easier um, to, to do that now. And they use it for a gym, which is a perfect well pointed area. That is a perfect area. place for a gym. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Look at oh, that. Wow. That's nice, huh? And so yeah. organized. Yeah. <laughs> And the curb appeal is beautiful. Right. I love the hardscapes and the steps going up. Um, so very nice home. The price yes, of this home? Yes, those are epoxy floors. The okay. price is 750,000. 
uh, for 4,450 square feet, uh, six bedroom, four baths. It's amazing. Yeah, so it's easy to see. Bathroom. We just need to have you guys um, go ahead and get to our website. And Robert will show you that here in a second. And you can just re request that virtual tour. Reach in front here just one oh, second. Okay. Um, but yes, we can definitely show you homes during our COVID quarantine. We just have to follow specific parameters. And the best way and easiest way for you guys is to go ahead and register here online. Yeah, so if you just go to robertandchristy.com um, and you you just go there and you scroll down. Now there's different things on here on the is it safety protocols and stuff. So you can you can read those. If you scroll down a little bit further, you're gonna see this property right on top here. So it's right here. Mm -hmm. um, you click on that property. And then you can do schedule your showing in person right here in the one per individual, or if you want to do a virtual showing, we can do that as well. Right. And on the virtual showing, you just contact us, just reach out to us right here. And then we can, if you don't feel comfortable still going out, um, we can go ahead and uh, hi, Becky. <laughs> oh my God. I just pointed to Becky, so he saw you. Oh my God. Everybody, hi, Becky. Becky, Be Rob, yeah, tell Be him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Becky was my neighbor back in Stewartville, Minnesota. That's where I'm from. And nice to have you, Becky. Thanks for joining us. We love Becky. Yeah. And so here's the um, where you would schedule the showing. So we can also schedule, like I said, a virtual showing here. So if you're still not comfortable about going out, um, then we can do it virtually. We can do something similar to this, but get a little bit more into the, the, the nuts and bolts of the house. Um, we'd be more than happy to do that for you. Um, so either Christy, myself, or Raquel, or Tara will contact you. Yeah. Um, do you, um, does anybody have any other questions? The girls have been keeping up with the questions. Um, Thanks, Raquel, for doing that, and Crystal. The, because we talked about the, yeah, Michaela mentioned how big that laundry room was with the, she made a big old wow. Um, Desiree really likes all the space, the living space. Um, hi, Erica. Erica's on as well. Hi, Erica. The four car garage, yes, it's a dream. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> it's, it's, it I is, wish I had it. It's a dream. We'll be kind. Yeah. We'll just, it's a dream. So, but hi, Bill. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hey, Bill. So, so um, anyways, again, if you have any questions, just um, continue to put them into the chat there. We will. You can private message us as well, um, or you can look on our website and you can connect with us that way. Uh, Raquel will be doing a live Instagram on this. So, if you want to share that as well, I think that's at two. I'm not mistaken and we're going to be hanging up here with you guys and we're going to come right back on with another property over in the green river area of south corona which is on sterling and we have a special guest with us on that yeah it's here del oro of uh west corona there so um yeah our, we got a special guest for that so that'll yeah. be fun so if you know if anybody's looking for um this huge beautiful home again very well done very well maintained please reach out to us we'd love to be able to assist you or anybody you have that's uh, looking for a home. And you can tag them, by the way, in this feed, right? So just tag your friend in this feed, and then they'll get this um, this whole video thing when we post it after we're done. So all, all that right. said, you guys, thank okay, you for joining Thanks for joining, for joining us. Today. Appreciate it. You guys have, have a, a great day. And join us again uh, in just a few minutes if you want to see the other home on Sterling. Yeah, have a blessed weekend, everyone. Bye.